Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Claudine Chanel and I'm back, but clearly I'm back with the sugar baby chit chat. going to be all over the place because i have like some thoughts that i just wanted to get out so if you just want to hear me like rant and just talk my shit then stay tuned i've seen a few tweets and just like post about you know young miami um if you guys don't know she's from the city girls and supposedly like p diddy is her sugar daddy this is all alleged joy chavez i hope i said that right um i have watched some of her youtube videos so i really do like her that's she's also i think one of p diddy sugar babies also um Anyway, so this is all alleged. But I've seen videos where they says like, you know, if there's a post about her or any of them on social media, if they're like, oh, it, or they always get praised. Like, I always see like, oh, get the bag. Oh, you know, they're where the money is at. But then when you see like girls, like everyday girls, like me or, you know, my subscribers or anybody, like we get shamed. And I just started peeping that energy. And it just feels, to me, it just feels weird because I see it in the comments all the time where how I know like a pick me could never really be a sugar baby because the same women in the comments, stay with me, will be saying like, oh my God, like young, young Miami's going out bad in the same breath will be like young Miami's going out bad because P Diddy, um, a, a, almost a billionaire, is he a billionaire? Is also dating Joy Chavez, and then also he has this Asian girl that he dates too. So this girl, this girl, this girl, this girl, this girl. So he has all these little sugar babies, and you know, Young Miami been posting two hundred thousand dollar receipts, all sort of thing. And then people are like, oh, she's going out bad. She's really not, and that's why that's why I can never get with Square Business. That's why I'm happy that my sugar boyfriend or generous boo. I like to call him generous boo. His name's Old Man. If you're new to my channel, go watch my other videos. I talk about him all the time. That's why I'm glad, like, he's just, he's a square per se, like a square from Delaware. But in reality, he just lets me live my life because I don't think y'all understand how arrangements work. That's, that's, that's the problem with, and that's the problem with, like, straight up, like, vanilla, sugar. Like, that be the issue with me. Like, and it's like, first it's like, oh, get your money, girl. And it's like, oh my God, you're going out bad because ships aren't monogamous. But it's just really weird because if the streets aren't for you, then stay on the sidewalk. Like I, I even have like people that will ask me, just, just pay attention to my channel. Please just pay attention because there will always be somebody asking me, well, aren't you in a relationship with such and such? Like, first off, how he met me, he knows like I sugar and he knows that I'm a sugar baby and he knows I'm a fin I have a finesse channel. This is not a secret. I can't hide this anymore. So I even had somebody that messaged me and was like, oh, Chanel, I know you guys, I got this in just case anybody is wondering, I got this um, from Ross and I got this brown suit, body suit from um, Fashion Nova, but this is from Ross. It's so cute, it's so comfy. I went, I took pictures today, but they didn't come out good, so I might have to go retake them. Anyway, so there's no need for me to hide it. I even had uh, several DMs, not just one, but a few DMs where people are like, Chanel, like, does your sugar, like, like you said not to post the type of things that I post. And you know, some things I post, like I, I didn't do this post that was triggering. It said that if my man lost it all today, I'll be going tomorrow, which is not true. If old man lost it all today, everything that he had, I would give him at least a month to get back on his feet. Like what? What do y'all think I am, some type of demon? Uh, I mean, I don't, uh, you know, and then uh, like, see to me, it, People will say these things and they'll be like, you know, my guy knows what's up, but I'm not gonna make the exception the rule. Like, no, I don't want none of, I, I want everybody, actually all my subscribers to live their life in discretion. Yes, I want you to have your standards high and attract what you are and only date up and only date men who are generous and things like that. But also, I just want you to keep it on the low, low. I can't keep it on the low anymore. I have, I have a whole channel. So I have to date men who accept me for my channel. Like, and I never, I haven't had any issues. None. When I tell you zero issues I've had, I have zero. Zero. I have people send people my channel or whatever and be like, oh my gosh, she's sugar. Da, da, da. I have articles about me. I don't care. Okay. The person that I'm with accepts me for what I am, still spends money on me. So um, I say all this to say that you, you just have the sugar baby culture, right? And you have it on TikTok. I'll get to that in a minute. But you have it on as the influence, the Instagram models. And I think I made, I came up with a list, a list of them. I you have like Des Dior. 
Um, she dates Future. They're like 20 something years apart. Am I 20, 15 years apart? I don't know. Um, April and Dr. Dre. I don't know if they're still an item, but she definitely, they're definitely like 40 years apart. Um, Lionel Richie and his girlfriend, they are 40 years apart as well. Your babies is all alleged. And then you have Miami, you have Joey. And like, I'm telling you, most of the time on social media, these women get praised, which I, I, I see it. I love it. I love to see women get the bag. But then it be our own people, our own women be in the comments that if it's just a regular girl, then it's just a regular post about her or her doing something, then it's always like, oh my, you're a gold digger or you're this or you're that. And I don't know, like, does anybody else feel like this? Like these girls will rap these Meg Thee Stallion songs all day, these city girl songs all day, but they really don't be living that life. Some of the rappers don't live that life either. I totally get it. Because it's like, y'all rap these songs all day. So y'all really don't want no man with money? Y'all really not trying to get no, y'all really not out here trying to get no money? Y'all, y'all, really when women comment on post about there'll be like a sugar sugar baby like a sugar baby post or something like that and these are just on social media this could be the shade room this could be gossip in the city this could be anywhere and they'll somebody will post something and they'll be like oh that's not a sugar daddy that's not enough or something like that and they'll be judging other people and i'd be wondering i really wonder i'm like how much money has somebody spent on you like i really need to nothing hold on you guys old man is facetiming me as we speak hey look at you i'm filming a video I said you were FaceTiming me while I was filming the video. They they can't see you though. They can hear me? Mm-hmm. Hey guys. You're so adorable. Yeah, funny. It's like my own little alien. Can I be something other than an alien? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. You're busy. All right, bye. It's up. This man like talking phone. Okay, we get up. Okay, we get up. Um. But yeah, but oh, and then back to that too. Like people will be like, "Oh, Chanel," or like I get you guys. You're my subscribers. You should know me. You know that I'm not gonna put all my eggs in one basket. He want me. He better come. Yeah. You want me? Come get me. Period. You you don't you must not want me then. The sugar baby culture just has exploded. Um, because I remember years ago I couldn't find anything. Um, also like you never really saw, like you never really saw or heard a lot of girls talking about sugaring. And I'm not I'm not saying because of me. I'm just saying in general. So over the pandemic, the sugar baby like the TikTok had exploded. So everybody was sending me like sugar baby videos and I'm like, oh my God, these girls are bomb. They're living their life, blah, blah. They're saying they're sugar babies. Now, I honestly do believe that we have a lot of sugar babies who are really escorts and who are just a, afraid to say that they're escorting, which I see nothing wrong with that, like do your thing. But then they disguise it as sugaring. And that's the part like, it, it's just, it's that's the part that irritates me too, because it's like, whatever you do don't be ashamed of what you do like if you're gonna do it do it but then you're using these tactics like you're using these um your success and you know you on the private jets and you doing this i've seen a lot of tiktoks and you're listen i have nothing uh, uh, shout out to the hoes like shout out to the escort shout out, because like we are we're in the same family so i don't really see the issue but my main issue be like you can't tell us how you did it you don't want to tell us how you did it. you just want to brag and throw it in the face and a lot of a lot of um instagram sugar babies do that too that they'll be like they'll disguise it as oh i'm an independent woman i do this i do that and the next thing i know sds they and it, you know what they're not obligated to tell tell nobody nothing they're not obligated to show nobody nothing but you keep watching their content and girl you can't even give me a tip you can't even give me one tip on how you can't even okay woo, woo, just a little bit okay because cool because people are always trying to critique me and what i do on my channel i always say make your own channel make your actually give advice actually give tips i want to see you do it i'm gonna i'm gonna watch you i'm gonna watch you I, I just want i want you to give advice and give tips since you like to critique me you get thirty five thousand dollars a month please we all need to know we're here we all need to know we're here we're all ears we're all ears period back to my dubai story time there is i i think people watch that story time because it has like a lot of views um it did really good i'm i'm very happy like that people like that story time but there was a lot of pick me's in the comments and i i want to clear something up about the dubai story time 
It's like that video attracted a lot of pick me's, a lot of people in the comments talking about escorts, a lot of people. Do you not see I have a whole sugar channel? If y'all don't get the fuck up out of here out of the motherfucking comments on that video. And that's why I just stopped like responding to the comments. Cause I'm like, are y'all, it's really weird. Like, oh, girls are getting shitted on. Okay, that's their prerogative. Because your, your nigga shit on you in real life. Cheating on you with 10, 4, 5, 6, 17 bitches. And he not giving you nothing. So let them girls go over there with them dudes that have the fecal fetish. And the dudes that have those type of fetishes are not everybody in Dubai. Dubai. Come on now. Come on now. Because it's the same people that have the fetishes out here in the United States. This is not new. These are, these are, there's a whole, you know, there's them. there's BDSM. Stop. Just stop. Just stop. It, it's really, it really, that, them comment sections are really upsetting me because I'm like, damn, like, this video attracted a lot of pick This video attracted a lot of people thinking they rescuing me. You can't rescue me. I don't want to be saved. Okay. <laughs> you can't rescue me. I don't want to be saved. Like, that, that the comments, I, I really want to just whip out my phone and read the comments, you guys, because... I cannot make this up, you guys. Like, there are so many pick me's in that, in that comment section. Like, oh, well, they they doing this. Like, no, I, whatever. Like, th the best thing about me, the best thing about me is that I'm not about to sit here and hate on somebody for getting some money. Like, that doesn't even make any sense. It's not hurting you. It's not hurting anybody else. Be though. My whole issue is the being tricked. Present it on the table to me. Let me know what's up and then let me accept it. And a lot of that happens. I have another story time that if y'all want to hear it, but I'll, I'll do it some other time. But a lot of times that happens when somebody will trick you into like, in, into like 304 manipulation into like prostitution and stuff because it'll be a girl that pretends to be your friend and then she really has a pimp. So keep in mind in the story time, you guys. When I found out, sorry, my dog is barking. When I found out that she did have a pimp, that's when I was like, or when I found out she used to have a pimp or that guy might have been her pimp, that's when I was like, I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? But if she didn't have one, Chanel would have a story time about how I got $15,000 and I went to Dubai. Okay, that's just how it went. Like, and I don't have no fucking shame in my game. Like, I'm just so confused on why people are acting like, oh, you know, and they're just in the comments, like, bashing people. Oh, that must be what the Instagram models are doing or that's supposed to be what the Western names are doing. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that, that's not what the story time was about. It's about how I almost got motherfucking tricked. Okay? But it wasn't to shame nobody else who actually wanted to do it. Let me see if I have you. No, because it really blew my mind. I was like, wow, it's a lot of people who, it's a lot of new people that don't know my channel and that know that, that don't know, like, I love the hosts. So stop playing with me. Um, and then, okay, so another thing, and this is just be to end this little rant rant that I'm doing. Um, the instant, the instant generation is really interesting to me. Um, I feel like, I feel like a lot of people want instant gratification. So when they see the girls getting the big bags, when they see the girls being flew to Dubai, you don't know what they're going through. And that's why a lot of times my story times, I tell y'all the good, the bad, and the ugly. And then some people be like, oh my God, this is unbelievable. No, believe it. Um, I've been on so many dates. I can't even count. I've been wanting to just think about counting how many dates that I've been on. I've been, I've been on sugar sites. I've been on vanilla sites. I, I've, I've, I've done the work. I feel like I put in all the fucking work. I was one of them people that was always with my phone in my hand because I knew there was some money on the phone. Um, nothing came instantly for me. Nothing ever, ever came instantly for me. I worked at it because I knew that I was tired of fucking with dusties. I was tired of fucking with motherfuckers that wasn't paying their way. I was tired of like, you know, and look, I wanted to level up my life and I, I just want to give advice on that. But I don't want anybody to think that I'm saying like, okay, well, you you meet a guy, you're not gonna have to have sex with him, and then you're gonna be with him um, for two years, and you know it's been my case. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I will say that it took work to find the right guy. While I was looking for this person, this person was looking for me. Ooh, Sierra Fair, and I was putting in the work to make sure that when I was presented this, that that it, you know, that when it fell on my life, it's not Amazon Prime. Okay, you don't pay extra to get get life two days earlier or to get what you want two days earlier that's that that's not how this works uh some people lives work like that let me know if y'all know them so i'm pretty much out don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell below let me know your thoughts on like the whole dubai situation let me know your thoughts on the instagram uh sugar babies or whatever if that made any sense and say hi to old man because he did say hi to y'all in the video and i'm out and i'm out